I'm going to make all of your wildest dreams come true. So if all of your wildest dreams involve making your gardening life easier, then I might be able to actually fulfill that promise. Otherwise, you might have to find a different channel. So this planting tip should be pretty simple. It basically involves a different method of planting using one of these, a T-post. Now, T-posts are something you probably had lying around from that time you had vampire tomatoes and you had to stake them. Um, sorry, bad. So in the past, when I would want to plant carrots or something like that, that has to be planted fairly shallowly, I would be digging some sort of a trench or something with my fingers and trying to get that straight and fill that up with carrot seeds or whatever it is I needed to do. But with this technique, you can take a piece of T-post and either use the long side or the short side, depending on how deep you want it, and just take it on the soil. I have to do this one-handed, so it's a little more difficult, but you just press it in and then carefully lift it out. And what you've got is a pretty decent trench. Uh, the soil here is pretty dry and crumbly, so it's falling in a lot, but um, you've, you've basically got a decent trench for planting your um, carrot seeds in a nice straight line. So what if you're planting something other than carrots? Where you don't need a long trench, you actually need to plant like dit, 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 along and along. Well, one thing I like about the C-post is on this side, you've got all these little indentations and you can just simply flip the T-post over, press it down, pull it out, and now you've got a bunch of presets. And each of those presets are about, uh, I'd say, maybe two and a half inches apart. So you can kind of figure out your spacing if you need to do every hole or every other hole or every, every, every other other hole or every other 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 hole. Of course, when you're done putting your seeds in, you can just carefully just kind of lightly cover up what you've done and you're done. So I originally got this idea or this trick from uh, Who Richard's gardening channel where instead of a T-post, he was using an old broom handle um, that he had, that was lying around. He had just pressed it into the soil in nice lines and he used that for planting. But I found the T-post actually works a little better because it gives you some options, depending on the different sides of it, how you rotate it. It gives you some options to do, uh, say, uh, plantings a little bit further spaced apart or just nice trenches for carrots or things like that. So I don't think this technique is going to work terribly well in uh, a mulch bed or something like that because it's not going to press terribly well into mulch. But if you've got to prepare a fine seed bed, for especially for things like carrots, then I think this is probably a, a pretty good way to go. And hopefully it will make at least one of your wild dreams come true.